y'all know what the vibe is. I'm at Tarjay because I have been seeing a lot of fellow YouTubers and content creators post about their Black History Month section. So I decided to come take a look for myself and see what's going on with it. That's literally all I'm in here for. It's such a beautiful day. Get out today if y'all can. So I'm about to go in Target and see what is looking like. Very interested because y'all know Black History Month starts next week. So we gotta get on it. I'm trying to represent for the culture. I think the whole world is just so much more woke here lately in the past three to five years. So my Target just got remodeled. This is the one in the perimeter plaza. Closest one to me. Okay. Valentine's Day section is litty. <sighs> so unfortunate for a girl like me who is big single. But it's okay. I'm loved. But yeah, they, this is cute. Lord, let me not get distracted. Okay, they got the bathing suits and stuff out already. Okay, y'all. Oh, and it's okay. For a department store, that got a little swag to it. But you know, focus. We are focused. It's pretty empty in here, which is a good thing. So I don't know if y'all can see, but there it goes. Black history section. So let's see. What is going for? already okay let's start right here meet the creators and founders scan to shop the full collection so I'm assuming everything in this area was created by one of these marvelous black creatives I love to see it I think everyone target has a section I'm gonna let y'all rock, even though it's kind of small. Biggest target is it could have been bigger, but I'm gonna let y'all rock. I love this two piece set. Black is beautiful. I can already tell it's been hella picked over as I do not see my size. Cause we, we don't do that. And no, I would love to get this set. Like I would get the top and a medium and the bottoms and a large, or maybe a medium in the bottom too because it looked like it would fit kind of big i would love to have this two piece set y'all i'm gonna have to find it my target is a my target is already a little picked over but i want to find that look at it oh wow who is this who is this ida b wells journalist activist suffragist oh wow it's the details for me. Wow, that's beautiful. I love to see this. And we all know who this is. Miss Maya Angelo. Come on, Barbie, making our dolls. This actually looks pretty good. I love it. I love it. I love it. Discover black creatives and founders. Celebrate Black History Month. February 2022. That's what we're doing. This is so cute. I love all the names, the quintessential names for the movement on shirts. It's so cute. Love that. Yes, my black queen. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, I don't know if he's still on our good side or not. Y'all let me know, but he's for the culture, allegedly. But yes, this is the Black History Month section. Let's see. They got the little queen, the little princess down there. And they got our prince right here. This is, this is, I love it. What I'm seeing so far, I love it. Let's see what they got. We are iconic, y'all. They want to be us, y'all. Oh, I love this. Don't even got to do too much or say too much. Y'all get what's going on. I love that. Okay, let's see what else is going on, y'all. Ooh. 
this I like this but come on with the sizing bruh they done came and picked over everything I knew I should have came in here sooner I think I'm gonna still I think I'm gonna still be able to get some pieces okay of course y'all know Malcolm X is I mean the stamp of the whole movement it's cute okay and they got swag up here with the earrings both of those are really cute sets i love it I, i'm liking what i'm seeing i like how y'all highlighted all the black creators that that were able to participate it's a vibe y'all i definitely recommend because like i said i'm pretty sure this is in every target nationwide go check out the black history month section I'm going to let y'all rock because, like I said, it could have been a bigger section than what it is. Let me see if I can back up so y'all can get what I'm saying. It's legit just this little area right here. Out of this whole ginormous store because Alta is right there trying to take all my money. And this is the little black history section. Lord, let me take a little off of it, but not even trying to be shady. It is kind of little, but I appreciate what y'all trying to do. So yes, give it a give it a look see in your local Walmart. I'm about to see if I can get some pieces. And yeah, if I get anything, I will definitely show y'all later in this vlog. I really want this. I'm gonna have to take a trip somewhere. I think this would be so cute, the little jogger set, but we're gonna see. Oh, okay, they got this over here too. Definitely gives inspired the next generation, period okay y'all so let's go ahead and get this package open i'm gonna be very transparent with y'all and keep it g like i always do i already had opened it well i was already in the process of opening it when something told me to stop oh look at the nails get into it it's flannel weather get into the details who do i think i am other hand though yes Ooh, gorge. Anyway, got distracted, sorry. Something told me to stop, sis. You are a YouTuber, what are you doing? This is content, everything is content. So what I ordered you guys was a cowhide rug. <laughs> if you don't know what that is, I'll insert the clip of what it looked like on Amazon. But this right here, I don't like this right here, that there is no rug on my living room floor that bothers my spirit i do not like that i have had at least three different rugs down here thought i liked it in the store or on the website got it put it down for a day or two hated it sent it back or returned it true story this is my life but i think this cowhide rug is going to be the answer to my prayers y'all i really think this is about to give it because the space is so blocky. Like I always tell y'all, it's such a square space that I need a rug that is going to have an abstract type of shape. The rug can't be square and the room all square. It's just too much squareness. So if you get what I'm saying, you get it. So a cowhide rug has a very abstract shaping to it. So I thought it would be perfect for my living room so this is how it looks out of the box this is the name of the company new loom um you know i don't never heard of them before technically but i really just was looking for a cowhide rug um the details of it it's the off-white and it's five feet by six feet seven inches so they had a smaller one, I think that was like three feet by five feet. Then they had a super big one, which was like seven feet by like nine feet or something. So I feel like for the size of my living room, I feel like this was the best option. So we shall see. As they say, we make your room beautiful. And I'm gonna hold y'all to that, like for real. And I want y'all to see that it says share on Instagram by tagging hashtag new loom and i'm really gonna do that you never know so hashtags be making a difference so i'm gonna do that i'm really nervous i hope i pick the right size i hope it gives the look that i'm going for because this will be the fourth rug that i have attempted in this living room to give the look 
that I'm going for. So I'm going to take it out and lay it down, y'all. Lay it down. Oh, lay it down. Okay, G babies, this is the rug. Um, it does still the little bubbly look that you see and how that is not all the way flat. That will happen over time because it has been rolled up for however long before it got to me. But just, I just think it just goes with the room so well. Um, I love the shape. I think I picked the perfect size. A, a cowhide rug is never, the intention of a cowhide rug is never for it to cover up the entire floor space but just you know to give the floor a little razzle dazzle i think the off-white is perfect because it's accents of gold all in my home if you know you know so yeah this is perfect now y'all i think now it's safe to say i need me a cute little coffee table and that would legit just that would set it off, but I think I picked the perfect size, perfect color. I think the abstract shape of it all just gives everything I need. So I'm happy with it so far. Hopefully it stays. I think I just need that coffee table to truly tie it in. This is what it looks like from the other angle. I just have to give y'all both views. And I just would like to add that it feels amazing. It feels like quality. And I was also concerned about it being like having to get some type of rug pad to go underneath it so it wouldn't slip and slide on this hardwood floor. But they thought of all of that because it has a nice grip. And when you step on it, you can tell it's not going nowhere. So. It's definitely giving the look that I'm going for. Can y'all kind of, can y'all see what I'm going for now? It's giving that look. I, oh my God, I really think <sighs> finally found the right rug, y'all. These are the things that just be stressing me out. And I think this is the time of year to worry about home decor because it's cold. I'm in the house. And making sure that when I walk in my home, I love what I see. I love the vibe. I love the aesthetic and the energy. It's very important. So that is what is going on for me this month. And pretty much nothing else. But yeah, y'all look. Ow. It looks so good. These are the options that I ended up with from my Target run. These were the only three that actually had a size that I could work with. There were plenty more that I wanted, but like, like y'all saw, it was very picked over. So this is what I came out with. I definitely had to get this. This is a statement in itself. Don't even need words. Of course, had to get the quintessential Malcolm X. And I had to, had to get this. Sis looks so good. She is just giving black excellence. And if you get a little closer, it says we are the future, period. Look how good she look. They did a good job on this sweatshirt. Had to get that. I'm going to hit up another Target in my area and see if I can find any more pieces. But yeah, this, these are my options. They look so good. Y'all want to see how they fit? Let me let me show y'all how they fit. Because, I mean, hell, I don't know either. So, let's all find out together. So, this is the first option. I love it. I think it fits perfectly. I got this in a small because I like my... Sometimes I like my graphic tees to still be fitted and still give some type of shape. You feel me? So, yes. I love this. You will definitely see this next month for sure. Either on my YouTube platform or at the radio station. But... It's a go. I love everything about it. So first one is a hit, y'all. Okay. Now, see, this one I got in a medium. And as you can tell, it's definitely a little more loose, but it's cool. They don't all have to be super tight, but we can definitely still rock this. I love the colors, the deep plum, this brown undertone or caramel, whatever you want to go with. I just love it. I love what it says because I definitely am driven. So yeah, this is, this is another go. This is, like I said, a little looser fit, but that's okay. And it says Malcolm X, civil rights leader at the bottom, which we should all know who this guy is. So I like it, y'all. I could definitely wear this, dress this up or dress this down. But once again, this is another one you want to see next month. I don't know on what platform, but you will see it. 
Okay, y'all, this has to be my favorite one. This the winner right here. This it. This is it. I got this in a small because with my sweatshirts, I already know I don't have super long arms, don't have a super long torso. So it's perfect. I'm just looking in the mirror like, I love it. I freaking love this. This is my favorite one. I love the fit. I love that it's long sleeve. Because I don't know why they make so much Black History Month stuff short sleeve when you know it's February. And that's typically, for the most part, a cold month for ev almost everyone. Or a colder month than the rest of the other months. So, I love that. I love that it's long sleeve. It feels very warm. They did a good job. The quality is there. The print feels good. And like you said, I know, like I told y'all, it says we are the future. So... This is my favorite one so far. That two-piece jogger set that I showed y'all when I was in Target, if I could find that one in the right sizing, that would for sure be my favorite one because it's an actual whole set. But if I can't find that one, this is the winner. I love it. Check out y'all local Target. They got some finds in there. They have some hidden gems in there for sure. So you don't want to miss them, especially next month. We got to... They already give us the shortest month. We got to go hard for all of the little bit of days that we have in February for Black History Month. Okay. We got to go hard for those little bit of 28 days they give us to celebrate our culture. So, this is it. I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here, G-Babies. Thank y'all so much. This video was a little light. Wasn't too much going on, but I just don't have too much going on in January. I don't know. The cold keep me, I'm in hibernation on the low. If it ain't about home decor or progressing in my platforms, networking, I really am not interested. It's just too cold. The streets ain't for me when it's cold, right? It just don't, it just don't hit the same. I'm sorry. So this is all I got for y'all. I hope I help put y'all on. Go to y'all Target, find what you need, and yeah. Thank y'all so much for watching, G-Babies. And I will see y'all next week in the next video. Bye, y'all.